everyone in today's video i will tell you about how you can get started with face api which is an another off offering from microsoft azure cognitive services so let's get started first of all i will quickly point you to the required documentation so i'm on my google search engine and here you can search for azure face api and this is the link so if you will click on this you will get the complete detail about face api so here you can have a look at what are the features it provides, and in fact you can do a demo before actually writing a, even a single line of code so you can provide your image url you can click on submit or even you can browse it from your local machine and it will allow you to hit and try various things the important thing is the documentation and so click on the documentation and this is the full flash information which you can get it and i would recommend you to just go through it once if you are planning to try out this face api now for face api there are two ways to use it either you can use it using the client side sdk or you can also go with the rest api implementation but whatever the way you are choosing you need the very first thing is the key and the endpoint and for that you have to go to the azure portal and search for face apis click on this and click on create okay so here you need to provide all the required information so i can quickly go here and create one resource group Okay, my region would be West, so West US, and name I can provide demo face API instance. Pricing tier there are two. Either you can go with the free one if you are just working on experimental mode. So otherwise, you can definitely go for S zero. And yet it is asking that uh, if you certify this, then this instance would not be used for police department in the United States. So it will take just a few seconds and click on create. Doing this will create an instance of face API. Now there are two ways to create an instance. You Either you can go with the approach which I have just demonstrated you. So you can go and select for face API. And the, another approach is you rather than going with specifically to the face API, you can go and create a resource of uh, instance of Azure Cognitive Services. And that can also fulfill our need. That will allow you to work with face APIs. So resources created and go to resource and here are the keys and the endpoint so once these are generated it means instance is created successfully so i will quickly grab this key and i have already written one small application so in that i'm just placing key and the endpoint so endpoint is this particular url just copy it here and paste it okay now, in order to use the client SDK, first and the foremost thing which you need is you need to pull in the package. So, this is the package which I have pulled in using NuGet Package Manager. And you can quickly search for microsoft.azure.cognitiveservices.vision and it will list down this package for you. Once this package is in your solution, then you need to write, uh, you need to make a call to the API. So for that, the very important thing is you need to create the instance of the client and that can be done using the key. So that's the reason I grabbed the key and endpoint would be used to make a call to that API. So once this client object is created, uh, next thing is we need to go and make a call. So this is the one line which is doing all this magic so this is detect with sync stream async so this is the method i'm using because i am planning to browse an image from my local machine so you can see that it is expecting so many arguments and most of those are like default ones or the optional so i just took the bare minimum and the first parameter which i'm taking is the image file which is the stream form Second parameter is would you like to return the face ID or not? 
and the third parameter is would you like to return all the landmarks whatever are identified basically face api works on the basis of 27 different landmarks and if you want to return those values then you need to pass true here and the fourth parameter which i'm passing is the face attribute so face attributes is the collection of all the attributes whatever you would like to have a look so i'm interested only in these four attributes in my image so but definitely you can go with around 15 different attributes okay so let's quickly run this application and rest all code i do not think it is required because it's just a housekeeping code wherein i'm converting an image to a stream and then mouse word events and all those so let's quickly try this out Okay, so the application is up and I will browse an image. So let's pick my image and you can see that it has detected a face and has drawn the red square box around it. So whenever you are hovering it, you can see that the these are the four key attributes which we actually mentioned in our code. So she is a female and smile is less than a percent. She is having a reading, she is wearing reading glasses and emotions are neutral, which is 98.2%. Let's try out another group image. So in this, you can see that there are three squares. So it means three faces are detected. You can hover over on any of these and have a look. So in this case, you can see that uh, it has identified the second one as the male with a smile slightly more, which is 1.5%. And in both these cases, it is saying that these are these guys are wearing sunglasses and the emotions are 93.9% and 98.3%. So this is how we can use the client SDK to get all these basic information. Now let's have a look at another important thing. How you can make a call to using the REST API. So usually what we do is we used to use some tools like Postman to give a try. But in case of Face API, you need not to do that because everything is already available and you can just give it a try in your browser itself. So for that, let's go to Google and Face API REST and I can see reference. So you can click on the very first link. And here you can see that all these APIs are listed over here. So quickly click on detection. Because we are working mainly on the face detection, particularly in this video. And these are all the regions in which this face API is available. And this is basically detect. And the very good thing is like, uh, let's first select the region so i'm in west us so i will be selecting this one and as soon as you will select you will see that it will show you whatever the version is whatever the face api is it is for detect and the very good thing is it will tell you all the specifications or the requirements which are which you need to fulfill before making a call so your image should be in this particular format and size should be only between this much these are the dimensions or the pixels which are expected up to 100 faces you can try it out and the special thing is the most important thing is the detection model so there are currently three detection models so whenever your image is very clear and it is like frontal face then you should go with the detection one but let's say your uh, the picture which you are trying to analyze is taken from too far or it's slight blurry or the faces are few faces are on side then in that case detection zero model would work and three is mainly whenever your images are having mask or head poses so and recognition model side there are four different and the recommendation is to use recognition four which is the latest one and provides you with the most accuracy okay so now it's time to try out our api so west region is automatically appearing because we selected that and here are the key parameters which you can change it so would you like to return a face id true or false uh, would you like to return landmark what all attributes are interested so let's say we are interested in only mask 
and detect uh, recognition model you, should, you can choose four detection model is three and let's keep all these values as it is and here content type is let me zoom it okay so here content type is application json and we need to pull in the key so key is the same which we have created here so i will quickly grab it and place it over here okay now this part is the next thing is the you need to provide the image so where your image is saved so for this demo i will be pulling the image from my azure storage okay so i am on my storage and this is a storage account i will quickly go to containers here i have created an image container and one most important thing is you need to check the access level so here it should be container one rather than private or blob because we are trying to access it from outside so let's select this one and this is the image which we are going to test it so here i will place that particular url and we are done let's click on send so response is okay 200 okay and you can see that it has returned the face id and uh, here it is saying the picture which i have browsed or placed it is having a kid and that is like mm, nose and mouth covered in it so probably i can quickly show you which picture i have browsed so this was the picture which i have browsed and here you can see that kid is wearing a mask and mouth and nose are covered so this is what i have for you guys today and in my next video i will tell you more about the face api and what all things we can do it so till then keep watching thank you